Hey guys, welcome to the video. Here today, I'm going to show you how to install the Tesla overlay menu onto your modded switch. Now, this is gonna serve as a base tutorial in the future when more overlays come out, whenever I cover them in the interest of saving time, I won't have to do this tutorial in each one of those videos. I'll just be referring people to this one because you need to have this installed first before you can use any of those overlays. I will not be telling you how to jailbreak or mod your switch. It's assuming that you know how to get into custom firmware, how to navigate your way around the modded system, like getting into the homebrew menu and things like that. Also, you don't need to have a PC for this, even though I am using my PC here today. You just need to have a way to get files into your switch. You can do it via FTP from like your smart device, or if you want to use your PC as well, that's fine. If you want to put the files directly on your SD card, whatever you normally do in order to get the files <clears throat> into the switch. But again, a PC is not necessary. I will be showing you how to install this and uh, then we'll run it and I'll tell you how to delete it if you don't want it anymore. And then after that, and we have it up and running, then I'll use a couple of demonstrations with like the uh, text reader overlay and the Edison cheat overlay. Oh, and last thing real quick, the firmware, as you can see, I am on 9.1 and I am using Atmosphere 0.10.2. It is recommended that you be on firmware 9.0 or higher. And I recommend that you on a more recent custom firmware like Atmosphere 0.10.1 or higher. Now, I believe this works for SXOS, but I'm not sure I don't use that. Uh, firmware. For those of you that do, you can just follow along and place the files where they belong on that custom firmware. There was an update recently to the official firmware. It's on 9.2, but Atmosphere updated as well as Cosmos and Hecate. And so everything regarding these overlays is still working on all the new and updated stuff. Now let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys. So technically to get this installed, the only thing we need is just two files the NX OVL loader, which you can get from right here. All you need to do is grab the NX OVL loader zip file. That's all you need. Make sure you download that. And then the Tesla menu overlay itself. Make sure you also get the latest one, the OVL menu.zip, which is right there. And really those two things are the only things you need. So we're going to get this set up. Let's get the core stuff set up first and try it out, make sure it works. And after we make sure it works and cover a couple of things, then the back half of this tutorial will come back here online. We'll grab a couple of overlays so we can use to test stuff with and see how it works. So now that we have these two files, let's go ahead and get them into the switch. All right, so now I have my switch connected. We have those two files. Let's go ahead and extract what's in them, go into the NX OVL loader you'll see an atmosphere folder, just drag that out. And then we will go into our OVL menu, a zip file, there's a switch folder and go ahead and drag that out. Okay, and let's close that. So we now have these two folders. Pretty much you just need to copy and paste these folders onto your switch. I'm gonna do that using FTP. Now, one thing you do need to note, and I'll show you that here in just a minute first, um, let's connect. Let me um, set up the FTP on my switch. All right, now let's go ahead and log in here. Okay, so what we are going to do here, you can see we're at the root of the SD card. You can literally just copy and paste or drag and drop uh, the atmosphere folder here, and it will just place this folder where it belongs. You can see here when we go into atmosphere, there's a folder called contents, and that's why you wanna use one of the newer atmospheres because the older ones, this folder was called titles. So here in the contents is where this folder is going to go. Now, if you're using SXOS, if yours says titles, you can still go into that titles folder and then just drag this folder uh, with all the numbers and stuff into that titles folder, you know, to try it out and see if it works. But for those of us on Atmosphere, we just drag and drop it. All right, so once you're done with that, then we'll go back to the root 
and you're just going to drag and drop the switch folder and that's it that's all you have to do so let's go ahead and do that and when you uh, do that what it's going to do is to your switch folder it's going to add this this folder here called overlays all right so let's drag and drop that okay go ahead and do that there we go and i'm going to drag and drop my atmosphere folder Okay, and that's it, it's done. Now at this point, when you're done transferring those two files, we can close up everything. What you're going to need to do is get out of the switch now, and you have to do a full reboot and then get back into custom firmware. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right, so I went ahead and rebooted and I moved the Untitled Goose Game here to the front because that's what we're going to be using uh, as our little tester. Anyway, the overlay menu itself, you don't have to be in a game. In order to open it, you could be pretty much anywhere and just hit L, then down on the D-pad and then down on the right thumbstick, press it down. So you gotta do all three of those at the same time. And when you do, the overlay menu will open. Now there are no actual overlays that have been found because we haven't installed any. We just installed the Tesla overlay menu, but you can see it is working fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, get out of it. Let's test it in the game and make sure it works. I'm gonna go into the game. I'll fast forward through all this part until we get to the beginning. All right, so here we are with our little crazy goose. Let's go ahead and press L down and push down on the right thumbstick all at the same time. And there we go. We have the overlay working fine. And that's it. That's all that you have to do. So let's go ahead and cover a couple other things and then we will insert a couple of overlays. Let's head back on to the main menu. All right, so there's a couple of things that we got to cover before we continue. First things first, this dot overlays folder that we added into our switch folder on your SD card, because there's a dot in front of it, it's treated kind of as a hidden file. Now you will be able to see it if you use, for example, a file manager that's available for the switch, like NX Explorer or NX Shell or whatever. If you have an FTP client and you don't see that folder, make sure that the option in the preferences of your FTP client to see hidden files is selected. And when you take the SD card and put it in your PC, you will see that dot overlays folder there. So real quick, let me just uh, show you here. Let's go back into FTP so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's log in. All right. And um, let's go here to my options preferences. I had to go to panels and then I had to make sure that this show hidden files was checkmarked. Then when we go into our switch folder, you can see here the overlays is right there. Now it's kind of darkened out just to let you know it's a hidden file, but we can go into it and we have access to it and we can do whatever. So when you get an overlay, you'll just take the files of that overlay and you'll paste them in here and then they will show up in the Tesla overlay uh, menu and they'll be selectable. If you don't ever want to use that particular overlay, just delete the files that belong to it. Make sure this one always stays here or the overlay menu itself will not work. And so that's how that works. If you want to delete the Tesla overlay menu, altogether then just delete this dot overlays folder then you're going to come over to the atmosphere folder go into contents and then look for that folder we just installed and make sure you delete it if you don't remember just go back to that zip file go into the atmosphere folder go into contents and you can see the number right there look for that number here delete the folder and then do a full reboot of your system and the tesla overlay menu thing will be gone altogether so let's go ahead and grab a couple of overlays, including the Edison Cheats one, and let's go ahead and take it for a test run and try out a couple of things. All right, so just a reminder that from this point forward, uh, this is all voluntary stuff. 
we already went through how to actually install the Tesla overlay menu, how to uninstall it, how to add overlays, how to remove them if you don't want to use them. So this is just uh, kind of like a little uh, demonstration or showcase of these overlays and how to mess around with them or whatever. But if you don't want to see this part, you don't have to. It's all optional. If you do decide to leave, make sure you hit that like button on your way out. For those of you that want to stick around, let's go ahead and come here to the text overlay. This is the one that um, you can use it to show or display text files here in the overlay menu. You can go over to releases and grab the latest one from the zip file. Then we're going to head on over here and get the Edison overlay. This one is a direct download. So I'll put this link in the description. Then the last one here is a cheat file that works for both SXOS and Atmosphere. It has some game or cheats for some games there. They usually keep this one fairly up to date. As you can see here, uh, March 2nd was the last time they updated it. So that was about six days ago or so as of the making of this video. So you can download that file if you want to use the cheats. And I also have a text file here for the Untitled Goose Game. It's just kind of like a little help file for a particular level of the game in .txt format. So we now have or at least I have these four things here. Let's go ahead and let's move some of this stuff over to the SD card. All right, so I went ahead and got rid of the files we were using earlier because we don't need them anymore. Let's go ahead and start off with the text reader. Let's extract that folder and you can see it's the switch folder. Let me go ahead and go into FTP. All right, and let's open up the FCP here. Let's log in. And we're gonna go uh, to the root of the SD card here, and we're just gonna copy and paste that switch folder over and let it do its thing. All right, and it's done. We don't need it anymore. Let's go ahead and delete it. Now let's go into the Edison zip file. That's also a switch folder. Let's drag that one out. Let's copy and paste that one over as well. Okay, and that's done. We'll delete that. And then we have titles. Now these are the cheats that we just downloaded. Let's drag that titles folder out. Now this one, you will go into the atmosphere folder. Atmosphere used to use the titles folder. Now it's changed it to contents. So what you're going to do is you're going to go. There's a couple of things you can do. You can rename this folder contents and then just drag and drop it. Or you can just go into the contents folder. Let's open up this folder. We're going to highlight everything here and then just drag it over. Okay. And then if it says some of these files I already have, these are the cheats. Um, so I have some of them already there. So I'm just going to hit yes. There we go. Hit yes to all and then just let it copy and paste everything over. All right, so that took a little while to finish. Now that that's done, let's close out of this here. We can get rid of this titles folder. We don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to transfer my little text file here that I have. Let's go uh, here to the root of the SD card. Now, technically, you can put these text files wherever you want. I just happen to make a folder called text files on the root of my SD card. And that's where I'm going to put this one, which is kind of like a little help guide for the Untitled Goose game. And it's in .txt format. And you can have as many of them here as you want. All right. So now all of that is installed. Let's go ahead and go back here to the homebrew menu. Now, technically, we should be able to run the Tesla overlay from anywhere. So we should have uh, we should be able to have it pop up here. Let's go ahead and hold L, press down and then uh, down on the um, right thumbstick. And you can see here that the text reader and Edison that we added 
are now populated there. So if we go into text reader, we can go here to browse. Let's browse for that text folder that I created called text files. Let's go into it. And there is our text file right there. And if we select it, you can see it comes up. Now the text is kind of small. I don't know if there's a way you can make it bigger or not. I have to mess with it. But I do know you can scroll down with the right thumbstick. You can also um, move the thumbstick over to the right so you can see uh, the rest of the text. All right, so you can see that there. And that's how that works. Let's back out. And now we are going to mess with Edison. So let's go ahead and go into a game and see if this works. Okay, so here we are in Dead Cells, and you can see that I've already used some cheats uh, here. But take a look at my health. Right now it's at 1360, and not every game is going to have cheats. The cheats were in these title folder or in that titles folder that we installed. So there's quite a few games that have cheats, but obviously not only not all of them, just some. And this is one of those games that does happen to have cheats for it. So uh, let's go ahead and go here. I'm going to get hit. OK, so you can see now my health right here is going down. Take a look. All right. Let me go ahead and pause the game. Now you don't have to pause it, but when I try to open up the menu, the L button actually does something. So let me go ahead and hit L down and down on the right thumbstick. Let's go into Edison. Let's go to cheats. And if the game that you're in happens to have cheats for it, it will detect the game and automatically bring up the cheats for that game like it did here. Let's go to max health and turn it on. OK, let's back out of all of this. And let's start up the game again and look at that now it's going all the way up to 99.99 and it's just staying there it's not moving all right so that's pretty much it guys if you found anything here helpful useful informative or you just want to throw some love or appreciation at the channel um, make sure to hit that like button because that's the best way to do any of that stuff and subscribe if you haven't already you know, I appreciate you guys watching. Much love going out to everybody. Be careful, be safe, but have fun, and we will see you on the next one.